Welcome to Desert Mountain Fine Art. We are here today with Ken Rowe, my hero. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that it rhymes wasn't on purpose, but um, we're, we're honored to have you in. I absolutely love your bronzes. Um, and welcome to Desert Mountain Fine Thank Art. Thank you. I'm very, very flattered to be here. I feel like family, and this is oh, just perfect you are. to be in, this, in, in your new house. This is oh. amazing. I love your gallery. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. It's, yeah. Your, your work feels at home here. So, so tell me a little bit about how you got started in bronze. Well, I came from the odd world of taxidermy. <laughs> and it taught me at the time, I was, this is 1980, my wife and I, which were both born and raised here mm -hmm. in Sedona, I mean Phoenix, sorry. Uh, opened our own tax shop and about the five year mark I figured this is not what I'm going to do the rest of my life. Mm. So with that in mind I took a college course in sculpture at okay. Glendale Community College and I was instantly hooked. It was one of those situations in life where you feel like somebody just took a rubber hammer and hit you over the head and said this is it and I knew that was it. So for nine years I did taxidermy by day and sculpting bronzes by night. You, you are one of the, if not the, I mean, at least in, in the circles I've been running in, the premier wildlife sculptor. Oh, thank you. Thank I, I you. mean, and, and the, the work you're doing, tell me a little bit about, I mean, your style's changed a bit over the years. It has. Um, I remember when I was seven, seeing your work, and, you know. <laughs> Well, and it's, the me memories are, you know, cloudy, but they're there. <laughs> well, it's interesting because as an artist, you you want to develop your own signature and your own style. Yeah. But, you know, the big question is, you were saying with your other uh, great artists you're interviewing, is what is what is your style? What is what are you trying to define in your work? Well, mm -hmm. with me, um, you find out very very quickly that anatomy is way down the list on what defines really good fine art oh, that's and sculpture. True. Yeah. The storyline, the composition, and that is so vitally important. So to answer that question, how my work has changed, I went from using reference that I had in my tax shop when I first started. This, this month is my 30 year anniversary of sculpting. Happy anniversary. Thank you. <laughs> so 30 years ago when I was sculpting, I was using reference that was dead. And guess what my work looked like? Hmm. It was dead. Yeah. So then I started studying the masters and what they did and started studying other artists I really admired and I realized they're using live reference. So, so I learned that if you want to capture life in your bronzes, you have to use life, live animals. That makes sense. So it made it, it was very challenging because where do you find a captive bison? Where do you find a captive bobcat? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's tricky. So my greatest resource has been wildlife rehab centers and they've okay. given me these tremendous liberties to get access to these animals. Mm -hmm. So what I want people to know when they look at my work is there's an authentic passion and a total obsession for capturing what I have in front of me and that animal is in front of me when I'm sculpting it. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I mean, the look this bobcat has here was a look she would give me when I got too close to her enclosure because she had these little cubs. I, all of your work, it has these just, it, it really does, I feel like, capture the soul of the Thank animal you. more Thank so you. than just the anatomy. Well, we love you and we Thank love you. your art. I'm not sure which I love more, but um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with you. Either one will so, uh, Thank you for visiting Desert Mountain Fine Art with Ken Rowe today. Um, you can see his gallery as well in Sedona if you're ever in the area. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, come wet your whistle for the great work that he does here at Desert Mountain Fine Art. And we'll see you soon.